Uh, litigation has marked the takeoff of the modernization of the e-customs project, shadowed to be undertaken by the federal government to boost revenue collection for the country. This revelation was made by the Ministry of Finance at the Customs during a one-day public hearing on the need to resolve the defeat between the Central Bank of Nigeria CBN and Adani Mega Systems Limited. The Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Femi Bajabia Mila, represented by the Deputy Majority Leader, Peter Patterson, said the aim of the investigation was to find out why such a laudable project has not taken off since its conception. The federal government, according to the House, loses $8.81 .8 billion annually, monies which is said should have been used to finance budgets year in, year out, instead of going on a borrowing spree. Success and failure of any policy, legislation, or government regulation depend almost entirely on the institutions and individuals responsible for implementing such policies. But in its reactions, the Ministry of Finance blamed the countless litigations as responsible for the setback. In a letter with reference to DIR, DIR, you can see the reference there, dated 18 September 2017, the Technical Committee cancelled the agreement following further due diligence, which revealed that the technical partners of the company, Mrs. Adani International Limited, a company registered in the United Kingdom, did not possess the required expertise in relation to the project field, nor proven track record. The Nigerian Customs, on its part, described as illegal the secret award of the e-customs contract to Adani Mega Systems Limited by the CBN Committee. He said that Danny lacks the capacity and experience to deliver such an important project, but was also curious on why the house that earlier sanctioned the contract is now calling for a fresh investigation. The of the then Joint Committee also showed that there was strict compliance to the Procurement Act 2007 and that the consortium that was selected exhibited high technical expertise and financial capacity capability to execute the project. Lawmakers are however demanding an open apology from the customs for the indictment. Earlier on, unfortunately you came very late, which you should, you should have been the first point of your comment here when you I came in. I apologize. Now, excuse me please. So to say that it is curious for the House to raise a matter over which we have the constitutional powers to raise it's disrespectful to the house. The committee for the failure of Adani Mega Systems to present its written submission, which would have guided the investigation, however, adjourned till Thursday, the 1st of March, for the continuation of the matter. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.